Thank you, Wayne. Okay, finally, I get to tell everybody. If you're an expectant mom-to-be who can't wait to know, there's a new inexpensive test on the market that claims it can tell you the sex of your baby as early as eight weeks, earlier than most sonograms at your doctor's office. But does it work? Well, I recruited some of my friends to test it out, and you may recognize one of them. Wendy Ryan's been keeping a little secret, and I've been trying really hard to keep it with her. Well, I don't know. It's not so little anymore. No, still little. Uh, no, I don't think so. In fact, yes, I am. I'm six months pregnant, and I'm having a baby. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm not supposed to tell you because... That's the whole point of the story, so is the gender. Exactly, and I asked Wendy to take the Intelligender prediction test along with a co-worker and a good friend of ours. 10 minutes. We're gonna know, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Most of you who watch Wendy Ryan at six and 11 probably haven't seen this side of her. The bubbly, vivacious, fun, getting giddy over the idea of having a boy or girl, Wendy Ryan, who luckily got to share this experience with friend and co-worker Jennifer McVann, our special projects producer, who was also about six months pregnant. At this point, neither had an ultrasound to confirm the sex of their baby, so I asked them to take the new Intelligender gender prediction test first. About $35, you can buy the test kit online or at any local pharmacy. The company claims the urine test provides immediate gender results as early as eight weeks post-conception, earlier than traditional sonograms, and they claim an 80 to 90% accuracy rate. Yours already looks orange. I know, but the last time we went all different. Isn't that funny, though, that you put it towards the girl and I put it towards oh, the boy? Wendy agreed to take the test twice, once at work and once at home, first thing in the morning. Now, the website says a green result means boy, orange, girl. That is so green. He took it again and didn't come out green. Wow. And yeah, that is so orange. Could say it's a girl. Jen says her home test was inconclusive, neither green or orange, but the orange result at work made her hold her breath in anticipation. I would love a little boy again, but it would be nice to have one of each. Yeah, we have a little boy, so. A few weeks later, they invited me to share in each of their intimate and exciting moments. Most everything says I'm having a boy. When a trained sonographer at their OBGYN's office gave her opinion on gender. It's a girl. Is it really? Is it really? It's a girl. Uh-oh, the intelligender may be wrong. Are you serious? For sure? Yeah. It's a girl. While Tara is 99.9% sure. .9 sure Wendy is having a girl. I'm excited. <laughs> no one will know for sure until we meet Wendy's baby after birth. Now, have you ever been wrong? Not that I know of. So what is Tara's opinion of these online gender tests? I've proven them wrong many times, so I don't think that you can determine a gender of a baby through urine. And what about Jen? Was her intelligender test right? It's a girl. It is! Oh, really? Are you sure? What's your percentage? Sure. <laughs> and even though she won't admit it, I know Jen, and she really wanted a baby girl. Hi, Wendy. Hi. I'm on the sonogram table, and we just learned something. What are you having? It's a girl. <laughs> I also asked a friend, the head of USF Health Media Relations, Susanna Martinez, to test out the Intelligender as well, just to have one more test under the belt, so to speak. Her home test turned orange, signaling a girl. I think girl. Pretty obvious. Her ultrasound technician agreed. That, you know, we can't forget that this is all about making sure that every everything else is right, but uh. And that was exciting. <laughs> so our unscientific testing showed that two out of three matched the ultrasound, the boy results being the one that differed. We ladies get so excited about this, don't we? <laughs> well, a spokesperson with the Telegender told me that they do have more false results that read boy than girl, and that their test is just a fun pre-birth experience, so don't skip the ultrasound and don't paint the room pink or blue based solely on this test, but congratulations to you and Jerome, Wendy. I'm like tearing up because I'm so excited oh, for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and it's true. Don't go and paint your room <laughs> pink or blue because, you know, we thought we were having a, b a boy and we were working on boy names for right. a while. So now that we're having a girl, 
We need to come up with a girl name, so I'm soliciting suggestions for the viewers out there. Please help me. Just head to my fan page on Facebook and let me know your thoughts. And if you're not a fan yet, click on the like button at the top of the page under Wendy Ryan, public figure. And thanks, Linda, for letting me participate in this really fun story. Yeah, it was fun, and I'm glad that a lot of the viewers got to see a side of you that maybe they don't get to see on the yeah, news. And they're going to see more yeah. and more of me <laughs> yeah. in the coming months. So I have a suggestion for you. I like. Roxanne. Oh, Roxanne. I do. That's you could call nice her Roxy, too. Rocky. So yeah. that's my suggestion. Alliteration, kind of like the, the first yes. name matches kind Roxanne of the last name. Roxanne Richie. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Okay. Very good. Well, bring, bring on more suggestions. Yeah, we'll I want to hear it. All right. <laughs> more information on the web. We'll be right back. Thanks.